Hey, what is happening, you slimy C Today, we're taking a look at some new cards revealed. A lot of them are going to be from the 151 set coming out. I don't know when it's coming out in America. It's coming out on like June 19th, though, over in Japan. And then we got some EX starter decks uh, cards revealed over in Japan as well. And they're going to release on July 7th. Japan, when do we get them in America? Nobody knows, but I guess we'll find out eventually when we get them. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at these cards. Let's see if any of them seem viable. First up, we have the Decidueye EX, 320 HP. I'm really getting excited for these EXs, to be honest. The more that come out, the high HP is what's really attracting me to these EXs because it just they're not going to get KO'd as easily as the V-Star Pokemon or even something like the VVAX Pokemon that have higher counters. And even if they do get one hit KO'd, you're only giving up two prize cards. So I'm really excited for when we like kind of fully transition to just EX decks versus EX decks. High HP, nothing's really getting one hit KO'd. A lot more potential for back and forth. So I don't know. The more EXs I see with high HP, it just kind of gets me excited. But this one's not that great. I'm not going to lie. This is why EX with the ability... Once in your turn, you may use this ability. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active. If it's in your active, you may switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. And then for a Grass Colors, you're doing 130 and 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So not great. Of course, these are the EX starter deck EX Pokemon. So they're not supposed to be like overpowered or super powerful or anything like that. I don't think like they're supposed to be like, you know, like starter deck, deck type level Pokemon. Nothing too involved going on. Um, of course, there are some good cards that sometimes come out of these. Uh, Victini EX 190 HP Strafe. 30 damage for a fire, then you switch to your bench, of course, and then for fire, fire, call us, you do 220. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn, so two, uh, 220 for double fire to call us is not bad, but not ridiculously powerful because there's just no real way to aggressively set up fire Pokemon in the current format. We do have Magma, Magma Basin, but going like turn one attached to Victini, turn two attached plus Magma Basin doesn't seem super efficient or very powerful just to do 220 damage and then leave 170 HP Pokemon in your active after the Magma Basin tick, so... Yeah, I'm not blown away by the by the teeny at all. But if fire decks do, a couple of other cards we're going to talk about, um, or another card, at least one other card we're going to talk about today that uh, could lead towards a potential fire box eventually being good, like alongside Charcadet, or not Charcadet, but the Evolution um, Armor Rouge plus Magma Basin, and then a bunch of different attackers getting involved with that. I feel like that could be good eventually, as a, uh, eventually when we get enough different fire Pokemon to work with. Currently, I don't think we're there. And one problem with a card like Armor Rouge is it's always going to come up a little bit short to probably Lost Zone decks because they can so easily target it down and kind of limit your uh, versatility of the deck by being able to use the Armor Rouge plus the Magma Basin to get energy and play and then move them around wherever you want. Lost Box is always going to make that tough to be able to do because they can always kind of target your Armor Rouge down with Sableye or Greninja or whatever. Just make it really annoying to be able to ever pull off any kind of strategy like that. So maybe once Lost Box gets checked a little bit more, whether that be from Rotation or Iono or whatever, uh, maybe that's like going to be the time for some kind of Firebox type deck. Greninja EX, another stage two here. For a colorless energy, Stealthy Shrooken, 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Meh. For two water energy, though, this is actually not too bad. 120, and if the active Pokemon has any damage counters on it, 120 more damage. So we're looking at 240 for two waters. That's not bad. Of course, we do need some damage on there ahead of time. So that would be like kind of the, the trickier part. There's like stuff like Halucha. Uh, there's nothing off the top of my head that seems like ridiculously powerful that you'd be able to combo this with to kind of spread damage early. But yeah, 240 theoretically. It'd be like you'd be having more, overall more damage on them to begin with because you have to have some damage counters on there initially. But yeah, two waters for an effective 240 pretty solid that's not bad 300 hp like i said these high hp numbers you know that's going to be a factor as well but not ridiculously powerful but right on ex now this i actually think could be included as like a one of in a maridon turbo maridon type deck uh it's 220 hp like the other maridon doesn't have the ability of course the first attack isn't that ridiculously good either for a lightning energy to do 20 damage and draw two cards but the techno turbo i think is where there could be some power three lightning energy 150 then you attach one basic lightning from your discard pile to one of your bench pokemon so if you're ever in a situation where you could get a KO on your opponent's active Pokemon with basically 150 damage, or if you have some Reggie Lucky V Maxes set up, and then you can get up to you know 180, 210, uh, 240 to get a KO, or you're doing like a two-hit KO, also being able to accelerate one energy into play on one of your bench Pokemon is a pretty big deal. Now this does attack for three energy, so you could also just attack with a Raikou V, and then instead of having three energy on your active Pokemon, you put that energy somewhere else. So that would be effectively the same thing, but I think there is some potential room here to include maybe a one of this Maridon EX in Maridon EX decks moving forward. I think there's some potential there. Uh, Clefable EX 260 stage one. Uh, your Pokemon that have any psychic energy attached to them have no retreat cost. So kind of a free retreat Pokemon there to work with your uh, Pokemon. And then psychic, 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 moon, magic, 170. Move any amount of psychic energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon any way you like. So eh, the pivot ability is kind of cool and maybe some psychic type deck to run this as like a one 
uh one one line and a psychic type build maybe there's something here with shadow rider to be honest maybe you include this in a shadow rider type deck so maybe being able to pivot between your shadow riders is very valuable uh and then clefable allows you to not like lose your energy on the retreating that could be cool we do have skate park right now as a stadium though which kind of effectively does the same thing well you get the energy back to your hand you have to re-accelerate them into play so you would fall behind on energy attachments overall for turn so something like this always a cool ability to have a lot of these pokemon are like look decent um overall but yeah clefable i like i think out of these that we've seen so far clefable has the most potential to be like used in an actual competitive deck uh, from these ex starter cards uh mention the core ride on ex real fast here 230 split beam 20 this attack is 20 damage to your opponent's bench pokemon little cleanup attacks like this are always like solid to have around uh in decks like you never know when you want to like preemptively set up knockouts or clean up knockouts and 20 damage sometimes is just enough and then for fighting fighting colors you got 230 and then you do 30 to yourself once again the stats on this are just coming up a little bit short once again these are the starter ex deck um ex's so we don't expect them to be like ridiculously powerful or anything like that how do ex another stage one here to 70 wicked claws for dark dark 90 if there's any uh if there's any pokemon is a basic it can't attack during your opponent's next turn an attack like this is solid there are some times where you can kind of almost checkmate certain decks because they only have evolution attackers or basic attackers or something like that so something like this this kind of attack is a solid attack to kind of have around as a utility attack like this could be included as like a one one in like a certain kind of dark deck to beat certain kinds of you know basic non-evolving non-evolution decks potentially so having attacks like this is always something cool to kind of like remember exists uh, and potentially having your back pocket for when you know the meta lines up just right for a certain kind of dark type deck obviously there's no dark deck right now that's great but you never know what the future is going to hold so just knowing that this card is relevant and around um can always be a bit different you'd want to be the first person to show up with a 1-1 houndoom in your dark deck like if, if dark ride just becomes good and then you know there's a basic deck in the format that kind of beats dark ride pretty easily but you remember you know houndoom exists and it makes a difference in the matchup then you know you'd want to be the first person to bring show up with that houndoom ex in your deck um as like a tech card Mel metal ex 300 hp on a stage one ex here metal absorption search your deck for up to two basic metal energy attachment to this pokemon and shuffle your deck for a single metal and then colors 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 90 plus 30 for each metal energy attached to the mel metal this one it just seems like there's too much to get to like a relevant number you would need i mean you know, the attack costs four energy so let's say that's four metals you're doing uh 210 damage to get to like the 280s for v stars or even climb up to like the 300s or 310s or 320s or 330s for ex pokemon seems like too big of an ask for the mel metal um so yeah i don't think uh this is going to be the the comeback of metal pokemon metal, metal ex is not going to be the difference maker so that's all of the cards from the ex uh starter decks or whatever these things are called let's move on to take a look at some more of the cards coming out from the pokemon card 151 set and a lot of these are pretty interesting um actually it seems like almost all the cards from pokemon card 151 not all of them but a lot of them have interesting abilities or attacks or potential use cases so i'm excited for the more of these none of them seem like inherently like broken or overpowered or it's like oh that's guaranteed gonna be a good deck or a good tech but they all seem decent which is like a good enough for me like if a lot of cards just seem decent you don't need everything to seem broken or one thing to seem broken and nothing else seem good but if everything seems cool and interesting that's what i love to see personally so ditto 60 hp basic pokemon transforming start this ability can only be used if this pokemon is in your active spot and only on your first turn of the game search your deck for a basic except any ditto if you do discard this pokemon and all cards attached and put that pokemon in its place and shuffle your deck so this can be like used as maybe like a pseudo plus one comfy or like even greninja in like a lost zone deck the ditto honestly doesn't seem great there might be some like very specific use cases for it that can pop up eventually but you could always just play like another search card to go get that basic pokemon out it does get it into your active so like it does increase the odds that you would start with a specific pokemon so let's say you play mysterious tail mew and let's say you play four of them because you really want to start it now you can play four mysterious tail mew and a ditto and then if you open the ditto the ditto just becomes one of your mews so if you're really trying to start with a specific pokemon the ditto fills that void very well like i said it could also be really good with the uh lost box deck you know it's like plus one comfy you could theoretically start with so maybe this is like played as like a one of in lost box i don't know off the rip but like just very interesting very cool, cool ability you can definitely come up with some specific use cases for it and just need those kind of situations to come around and this will be a, a card that'll get played now this card i'm super excited for the snorlax um because the Snorlax theoretically creates infinite resources, which is something we haven't seen for a while. 
Um, so those of you who have been playing for a while probably know what execute does. It was a card that said if it was in your discard pile, you could put it from your discard pile into your hand. And then if it made its way back to your discard pile, you could just reuse its ability over and over and over again. So you could like get two executes out of your discard pile, put them into your hand, play ultra ball, discard them both, put them both from the discard pile into your hand, play ultra ball, discard them both. Now, a lot of decks in the Pokemon TCG don't need infinite, res infinite resources to that extent, but uh even stuff like zorak looked to, like to take advantage of that for its trade we currently have curlia with refinement or we just got we just lost in Sino that had make do so sometimes infinite resources to use for your discarding effects whether it be ultra balls or make do's and refinements discard draw twos that's pretty good and snorlax um now this can only use this ability once during your turn once during your turn you may put two up to two my bad up to two leftovers cards which is a tool card leftovers tool card uh from your discard pile into your hand so it doesn't quite create infinite resources during a turn, but over a long enough period of turns, it effectively creates infinite resources. So this is could be a really cool card for some kind of control deck um, or just taking advantage of the idea that you need more resources than you currently have, just, just more cards through discarding effects. Um, it doesn't seem broken, and that's one thing to be kind of scared of with the potential of like these quote unquote like infinite things. Like execute was like the like was like pretty much definitely infinite um, for discarding effects. This one isn't quite infinite because like if I use Snorlax's ability and I put two leftovers from my discard pile into my hand and then Ultra Ball them away, I can't use this Snorlax's ability specifically again. I have to punch another Snorlax, which is taking up two bench spaces, potentially putting two liabilities in play, and so on and so forth. So a little bit more of a drawback to something like this than an execute. But over a long enough amount of turns, the resource recovery of using this ability you know 10 12 20 turns uh in a row is a lot of potential discard resources so i'm super excited for this card i think it's got a really cool ability it's not broken like some of the infinites we've seen in the past but it does have a lot of use case potential for like some kind of control or weird win condition type deck so this is like a really cool ability i'm really excited for this um i don't know if we'll see anything immediately with it being used a lot of the uh yeah i don't know if we'll see anything immediately being used the control is kind of in a weird not so great spot right now uh, but in the future i think there's definitely a lot of potential for a card like this to be really really good in some kind of control alternate win condition weird scenario type deck but yeah we're recovering two leftovers over and over again could be pretty beneficial so i really like really like this card and i'm definitely excited for it um all right let's move right along actually hold up i just had an idea with this deck all right so this card so i'm gonna go ahead and just, i just literally just this just came to mind so we are getting back super rod which does make rapid strike malamar quite a bit better than it currently is one of the problems with rapid strike malamar currently is like the recovery factor like you don't want to play clara on your turn when you want to play something like cynthia's ambition to like draw a bunch of cards i don't even know if cynthia's ambition is legal but you know what i'm saying bruno whatever but the what you would have to combo with rapid strike malamar with currently is refinement curlia to be able to draw enough cards to get enough cards to actually take ko's on big pokemon one of the problems with refinement though is it discards a card you don't have uh, or discards a card out of your hand which you're hoping is not a rapid strike uh, card at that point you usually thin out most of your rapid strike cards at some point but as you play snorlax plus leftovers that gives you plus two cards to work with to refinement away so you don't have to be refining away rapid strike cards and you can constantly just kind of build up on your rapid strike cards a little bit more so actually that's one of snorlax plus two leftovers in rapid strike malamar once we get super rod i don't know that sounds kind of cool i'm kind of excited for that we'll see that's definitely already already we got the use case for it this could be cool definitely something worth trying out of course rapid strike malamar gets destroyed by lost box but we can just not attack for lost box and take that out that's fine right it'll be okay we'll be all right up next we got the vile plume everyone was super scared of this vile plume it's got an ability vile plumes with ability are a little bit scary sometimes they're a little overpowered or feel overpowered or a little bit oppressive in the format this one is not that though stage 2 140 hp uh the ability when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your pokemon during your turn you may look at the top eight cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your pokemon in any way you like shuffle the other cards back into your deck so an energy acceleration ability once during the evolution energy acceleration ability nothing to fear vile plumes vile plumes can sometimes be a little bit scary they got really good abilities usually this one still seems solid though i feel like you definitely do something with this doesn't seem broken or anything like that once again i love these like kind of abilities where you can, you can stop and think about it like okay that's cool or interesting could have some use cases uh but doesn't seem inherently broken uh, up next we got some more uh more cards more 151 cards we got the needle king needle queen needle queen not great uh for dark and cost 90 damage during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this pokemon by basic from, from basic from basic pokemon so that's actually a pretty good attack to be honest that's a pretty good attack on the needle queen we go a little bit further though to the needle king if needle queen is on your bench this pokemon's attacks cost no energy 
that's pretty good when you're doing 190 damage and your opponent's active is poisoned that's not bad to be honest that's not bad there could be something here needle queen needle king 190 and they're poisoned that's that's not bad that's just not bad all right we got the hypno ability when you evolve leave your opponent's active pokemon asleep it is a stage one now could combo this with like Bennett item locking your opponent plus disrupting them through uh special conditions is actually a pretty good combo special conditions plus item lock always been a pretty good combo could see that happening with hypno or could combo with that jinx ex if your opponent's active pokemon is asleep it is knocked out for water water colorless colors now you can't play melanie on this jinx as my stream reminded me when i brought up this card the other day when i was talking about these cards on stream but water plus double turbo still not a bad combo the 20 damage you get reduced from the double turbo not going to affect this attack because it's just an effect there's no damage so jinx hypno especially if we're going if we ever end up in like a format where it's just like kind of two prizers punching each other back and forth be able to guaranteed one hit ko your opponent's active pokemon i mean that's not bad that sounds pretty good to me i would take that so it's a cool combo obviously he's gonna come up a little bit short against like one prize decks and like lost box and stuff like that but you know, we don't have to worry about lost box that much big balloon the stage two pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost so effectively a float stone for anyone who's been playing around for a while uh but only for stage two pokemon i like this balance of it gives stage shoes a little bit more power don't give a float stone to every pokemon don't give free retreat to everyone on a tool card put a little bit of a limiting factor on it with that it has to be attached to a stage two to get the effect love it cool card bills transfer specifically i feel like bills works with the whole needle queen needle king deck look at the top eight cards of your deck you may reveal any number of pokemon you find there in the needle queen needle king deck you're gonna have to set up a lot of pokemon i think bills transfer would be pretty good in that deck to be honest look at the top eight put any number of the pokemon you find there and put them into your hand then shuffle the other cards back into your deck this card just seems kind of good in general i mean we've had decks like or cards like bridget or like other setup cards other pokemon specific search cards be good in the past be able to look at the top eight that's a decent amount of cards and take all the pokemon you find there and put them into your hand i'm i kind of dig bill's transfer this definitely seems like a card that'll be worth testing in uh decks from uh in some decks moving forwards uh a couple more we're still going through more 151 we got chancy now this is a little bit of a gimmick a little bit of a meme the lucky bonus ability if you took this pokemon as a face down prize card and your bench is in full before you put it into your hand you may put it onto your bench you need a bench space open you need to take it off a prize card and then it's not quite Jirachi Prism, but if you flip a coin and get heads, you take one more prize card. So definitely a meme, definitely a gimmick, but we do have Peonia in the format, so you could definitely make some meme gimmick de gimmicky decks with the Chansey. I hope this card doesn't become meta and is actually good. Hopefully it just stays a meme and a gimmick, and that'll be good enough. Articuno, ability, ice float, it's got a water energy, it's got no retreat cost, pretty cool. Then we've got that Blizzard, water, 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 110. This attack also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So I actually think cards and attacks like this are pretty good. That 10 spread can be pretty relevant. Uh, the 110 can set up for a potential two at ko setting this thing up though was the problem three water energy on a 120 hp pokemon i don't see that flying currently maybe if like frost moth was still in the format or something zapdos same ability but for a lightning energy no retreat cost and then for lightning 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 120 this attack also does 90 damage to one of your opponents special one that has damage counters on it so for triple lightning energy 120 90 snipe now we do got the Maridon deck kind of floating around. I could see this card actually being pretty good as like a one of in Maridon. It's got the pivot ability on itself, which is cool. And then you go up against like a deck like a Lost Box or something like that, being able to actually pressure them more aggressively with a snipe attack, a two prize, one two punch, or a two, two for one punch, two for two if they KO you back, whatever. Seems pretty good. I definitely dig the Zapdos EX in, uh, in the Lightning decks. You got the generators, you can set it up quickly. So the three Lightning Energy costs, like we have something to actually accelerate this triple lighting unlike the Articuno I don't know it's just not happening but we can make it work with Zapdos EX for sure I definitely dig Zapdos EX Moltres same ability of course fire energy free retreat long distance flight for fire 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 discard two fire from this Pokemon this attack does 120 damage to one of your opponents bench Pokemon so like I was saying just like with the other fire Pokemon that I already forgot that we just talked about if Armor Rouge plus Magma Basin ever gets enough solid attackers involved cards like a one of Moltres could be a good inclusion having that sniper 120 isn't like a bad thing to have around but I feel like there's a lot holding that firebox type deck back potentially but as we get enough attackers eventually it has to become decent right as long as the attackers are decent and Moltres would be like a decent inclusion a 120 snipe I feel like you can't really go wrong with that in a box type deck so I wouldn't hate to uh wouldn't hate to see that be included in a potential um in a potential Armor Rouge, Magma Basin, Accelerate Fire Energy, move Fire Energy around, attack with whatever seems like the best attacker on the turn style deck. It just doesn't feel like it's good enough right now. We don't have good enough attackers. Once you get there, Maltrace will probably be included as one of them. 
that's gonna do it that's all the cards that we've been revealed so far still a lot more to come and hopefully they are as interesting as these i think these have been really interesting so far from the pokemon 151 cards revealed so far and that's what i just want to see more of more interesting cards we don't need broken cards we don't need insanely busted cards just a lot of cool interesting cards i feel like leads to a better game better format better meta more enjoyable to play it's just more fun anyways i'll catch y'all in the next video